Kicking off day three here at Royal Ascot, we're starting off with the Seven Furlongs Chesham Stakes, a listed race for two-year-olds. It's Dazzling Legend for Josh Sutherland, Faultline Obi-Wan, Foaming Lake Darren Thompson, Game of Two Halves Josh Sutherland, Codical Alex Cherry, Lord for David Hooley, Louis Kale for Daniel French, Magnetism Satyam, Machi Ryan Costello, Mayor of Simbleton Leon Van Rensburg, Osaka Player Vinnie Gerard, Piazza Navona Ryan Tamasabi, Royal Crusader Jim Murray, Scrappy Tuesday Ryan Costello, Seattle Price Tag Vinnie Gerard, Sire Germany James Shea, Sleepy Ending Your Favourite Craig Allen, Spend and Probus James Shea, Sublime Choker Dan Hughes, Away Mango Alex Ince, Awesome Strike Michael Scarlet, Classic Mode Alex Cherry, Clock Womble Alex Ince, Gambling Candy Davy Lad, Groovy Chick Michael Scarlet, Melodious Obi Wan, Rainbow River Martin Needham. Sazamoto Bavard, Davy Ladd, Sequel Eclipse, Craig Allen, Star of the Age, Leon Van Rensburg, Treat Me Good, Craig, Beckwith and Yellow River, Martin Leadham. And they're off and running here in the Chesham and God knows how many horses we've got here today. 31, I think, have lined up for the Chesham. It's got to be a record. 32 made that. 32 line up for the Chesham Stakes at Royal Ascot. Got to be some kind of record. And we're already into the final six furlongs here in a decent clip being set by Magnetism who has a length of a few, uh, lead of a few lengths to foam in Lake uh, on the near side, over on the far side towards the middle of the track we've got another grey Sassimoto Bavard and that one's racing alongside uh, Royal Crusader, we've got Awesome Strike too with the Jim Murray runners running in just uh, in behind the pace, Sequel Eclipse moving forward into second now is one of the two very fancied runners for Greg Allen, he's got the first two in the betting here, uh, looking for the other one's sleepy ending is racing towards the rear of the field at the moment and the back marker at the moment is classic mode uh, along with clock womble and fault line so coming towards a two and a half furlong marker and it's all starting to unfold up front magnetism being chased now by foaming lake royal crusader and awesome strike those two jim murray runners they look at a mailer of simpletons racing and coming strongly down the center of the track for leon van rensburg uh saka players now getting going for vinnie gerard we know he fancied this one today the gray horse in the green silks as we come into the final furlong mayor of simpleton uh, Royal Crusader over on the far side Sassimo Bavard Osaka play now hits the front Sleepy Ending staying on from the rear of the field for Craig Allen as we come towards the line Sleepy Ending passes Osaka play just before the line and wins it Chesham Stakes goes to Hemsworth Farms Sleepy Ending wins it I think that was the favourite just before the off Burst home and actually Royal Crusader over on the far side on the running rail for Jim Murray Actually got it past Osaka play for second as well. And Osaka play only third for Vinnie Gerard. And Mayor Simpleton fourth. And fifth was Louis Kale. So Sleepy Ending went off a tasty price of 8-1 to one in the end. Wins the Chesham for Craig Allen. And the favourite sequel Eclipse, uh, the more fancied runner from that stable, was only 10th. Um, but a great race in the Chesham. Uh, won by Craig Allen's Sleepy Ending.